when you want to connect your free speech to the outside world, like when you want to make outgoing call to your landline or mobile number, you need to connect to a SIP trunk provider like Twilio. There are two ways to connect your free switch to the Twilio platform. The first way is to use Twilio Elastic SIP trunking that I typically use when my free switch has a public IP address. For example, when I install it in a cloud provider. Or even if it has a private IP address, I have uh, at least, for example, a firewall or something that I can map the required ports to my free switch. So when I have a free switch that I can access the IP address from an outside world, like it has a public IP address or it can be published, use this method, that is Twilio Elastic SIP Trunking. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps for using Twilio Elastic SIP Trunking in FreeSwitch. My main focus will be on how to set up a gateway in FreeSwitch, how to test it using FreeSwitch console, and how to create necessary dual plans for both incoming and outgoing call using this gateway. I'd say about 90% of the steps that I'm explaining here are the same for other trunk providers. I also uh, show you how to troubleshoot some common errors using SNG rep when you want to connect your free switch to a trunk provider like Twilio. Let's get started. First, I'm going to walk you through how my setup is configured. I've got a free switch server running on DigitalOcean using this public IP address. I've registered Zoiper with the extension 1001 which is a part of the default free switch configuration. If you check etc free switch directory folder, you will find the default SIP endpoints created there. Don't forget to change the default password or I'm sure you will get hacked easily. I've also set up an account with the Twilio as my SIP provider and purchased a US number which you can see in the screen. What I want to achieve to teach you how to connect your Twilio Elastic SIP trunk to your free switch so that you are able to call out using uh, extension 1001 to the end user mobile, let's say your mobile number, and if the uh, user called the Twilio number, then the call should route to the free switch, and free switch, for example, can play a file or it can connect to a extension. What is important here is to learn how to uh, connect Twilio or other SIP providers to your free switch as a gateway. The first step is to create a SIP trunk in the Twilio. In order to do that, log into your console.twilio.com, uh, select Elastic SIP Trunking, select Manage, and then Trunks. Here you can create a new SIP trunk. Just give it a name. I will name it FS Node 01. This is my free switch node. Uh, don't need to change anything in the general tab because for this setup, I don't want to enable encryption or for example, call recording, then go to the termination. In the termination, we need to allow our free switch IP address to send call to the Twilio. In a way, we don't want to authenticate the calls. So for the termination, CPU you can choose any name. Let me, it should be a unique name. So I will use for example, VoIP DevOps. And here you need to add uh, IP address of your free switch system. So in order to do that, click on the button here, give it a name, my um, DOFS node 01. This is my free switch node 01. The IP address of the free switch, that is uh, yeah, 198, 211, 115, and 240. This is my free switch. Of course, you, need, you know that you need to add your own free switch. And then mask 32, because I just want to allow the calls without authentication to come from my free switch, not the whole network, so it should be 32. And give it a name, I will use the same name, and create ACL. Um, that's it on the termination part, we need to save it. So I just give it a termination SIP URI, and I added my IP address of the free switch. In the origination, we need to Let's uh, tell you know how to send calls to our free switch. That's very easy as well. Just click a button here and type SIP, the IP address of your free switch node. That is 198-211-115-240. And add it. So now the Twilio knows that if it receives a call, 
uh, where it should send to, that is my free switch. Of course, we need to assign a number. So you can, if you have not bought a number, you can click add a number and uh, buy a number. It's very easy, I won't explain. And then if you already have it, add an existing number. I already bought a number I'm using for my testing. So nothing will happen if you call it. <laughs> and then I just select it. And this is the number that we will use if you want to call out. For example, if I want to call to my mobile number or if I want to have an incoming call, this is the number that I should call. And that's it. That's what we need to set up in our Twilio account. Just create an account, a, a trunk. Uh, we don't need to change anything in the general tab. In the termination, we just allow the IP address of the free switch and in the origination, we select where to send calls to. That is the IP address of our sphere switch system. And in the numbers, we will assign the number. If you don't have it, you can buy a new number, or if you have it, you can use the existing one. 